Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you the tools that I use for air dry clay or ADC projects and creation. So sit back and relax. First, I do have here the cutting mat and this one is a silicone type. It's a non-stick and this is actually a good one since it does have some guide for the inches, centimeters, measurement table, temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius and other informations and this type of cutting mat is actually good for both polymer clay and air dry clay users so you can just put it on your countertop a uh, working table or any table that you would like to uh, create your projects if you don't like this one I can recommend another one and this one is a cake board yes you heard it right cake board so guys sa mga my birthday jan or my may mga important occasion don't throw away yung cake board na pinaglagyan ng cake kasi magagamit nyo sila so i bought this in a local baking supply store and it does have some different colors and then shapes and the size of this is seven by seven okay so if you can see meron siyang gloss kasi yung yung first layer neta is actually made from thin, thin plastic but this one is actually made from cardboard okay so you can use this cake board or this silicon type it's actually um it actually depends on you guys and then the next one that I do have here next these are the pink tools that I use it's actually made of plastic so in the next video or in the coming videos I'm going to show you how to use this one for your air dry clay creations as of the moment I'm just going to put it here so you can take a look and it comes with 14 okay 14 tools sya. I do have here another set of tools I called it my extended tools so isang set na siya kapag binili nyo meron siyang 4 pieces and ipapakita ko rin sa inyo kung paano siya gamitin but for now these are the tools that I usually use okay now let's go for another tools next i do have here the rolling pin and this one is actually an acrylic type meron din yung plastic yun yung pvc na ginagamit sa linya ng tubig okay and then meron din tayong cutter or pliers so this one is actually a double purpose one so my cutter na siya then meron pang pliers okay and i do have here the scissors okay so scissors meron ng malaki saka merong maliit this one is actually for smaller details and then let's not forget the metal findings metal findings yes ito yung um key rings na tinatawag and mostly for keychains okay this one is actually not stainless okay so it's actually okay and this is what we call the head pins here so for adc users i do recommend for you guys to actually invest in a stainless metal findings especially for head pins and then for jump rings kasi ito yung talagang magiging touch or magta-touch dun sa ADC new. So, I really do recommend for you guys to use stainless for this. It's a little bit costly, but it pays off well since kapag hindi stainless yung ginamit nyo for jump rings, for jump rings, and then for stainless, you have to coat it first. Kasi in the long run, if you're not going to coat the non-stainless metal findings, it will rust. Okay. But for stainless, of course, it will not trust, and it's actually a good investment. 
Okay. Next, syempre, I do have here, okay, tabi ko lang to. I do have here the brush. Okay. Binili ko to sa Duvier. I don't know if I pronounce it right. It's actually cost for, let me check, 115. So, yung size neto is for 0 0.5. This actually for smaller details. If you would like to paint on your creation. And, there are some details na hindi na kaya ng clay. So, we use paint brush for those details. And, of course, I do have here some gloss. Okay. This is a multi-glaze. It's actually locally produced. Okay. So, ito, ginagamit na ko siya ng brush. And then, pinapahid ko lang dun sa air dry clay project ko once it has been fully air dry. Or, if you don't like to use this one, I can recommend this. Okay. This is Bosni. It's, you can actually use this uh, for those rush orders and yung mga maramihan. And you can buy this at your local hardware. So, I don't know how it costs. Kasi, ano, uh, pinabili ko lang yung clay. Air dry clay. So, as of the moment, this is the one that I'm using. It's an E22. So, guys, hindi siya sponsored, okay? But I can recommend this one. So, I have here, if you can see, it's actually translucent. I ordered my air dry clay translucent. Hindi ako umu-order nung mga colored na air dry clay. So, this one, it comes in a pouch. It's a Ziploc. And they can go for 55 grams to 100 grams. It actually depends on your project or kung gaano kayo kalakas gumamit ng clay. So, again, this is not sponsored. But this one, I actually really do recommend this. Kung hindi kayo fun na yung creation nyo, when it dries, it goes for 10% uh, of shrinkage. Kasi yung air dry clay, habang natutuyo siya, nagsishrink siya. And in this type of clay, hindi siya ganun kalakay mag-shrinkage. Like, 0.5% lang. Actually, hindi nyo halos may kita yung pag-shrink niya. Okay. And let's not forget as well. Siyempre, paano naman kung panatutuyo na natin yung ating mga creation, di ba? I do have here, yes, you can see it, right? It's a silk screen. So, this one is for 8 by 10 yung size niya. And I bought it in a national bookstore. Okay. So, this is actually what we use as for drying rack. Why? Kasi kapag nilagay mo yung creation mo dito sa ibabaw, hindi mo na siya kailangan balik tarin pa para matuyo siya ng even. Kasi yung ilalim niya, meron nang gap. ba? So, kailangan mo na lang siyang ilagay dito. Tapos, patay na siyang matutuyo. Okay? So, magandang investment to guys. If you can see, medyo ano na siya, gamit na gamit na siya. Kasi, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko for drying rack. Okay, yan. So, 8 by 10 yung size niya. Yung iba, ang ginagamit nilang drying rack is yung, um, yung takat ng electric fan nila or yung mga lumang kulambo. So, you can use that as for yung, for your drying rack. So, pag pinatutuyo nyo kasi yung air dry clay, dapat, Lalo na kung hindi siya nasa drying rack na katulad na ito, na wala siyang gap sa ilalim. Usually, kailangan siyang balik rin like in every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, ganun hanggang sa mag-dry siya ng husto. Yun yung kailangan niya gawin for air dry clay since hindi siya open, oven based. Okay. So, again, give you some tips on how to color your air dry clay. Especially me, I'm using the translucent type for air dry clay so I colored mine para ma-achieve ko yung colors na gusto ko so these are the coloring tools that I'm using okay so this one is, I bought it in national bookstore acrylic this is acrylic colors 
So, one set na siya pag binili nyo. It's a little bit costly, but it's a great investment. I have this for like a year and so, but if you can see, matipid siya gamitin. Okay. So, it comes with a tubes like this. Okay. Meron ding acrylic ones na mabibili sa National Bookstore na nakaganito. Okay. Depende siya sa brand. Okay. So, malakas ako gumamit ng black at saka ng white. So, bumili ako ng na container. Okay. And then, another one that I do use for coloring my clays are the food color. Okay. So, meron siya nakaganito in a bottle. Or, meron yung naka-container. Okay, so, this na naka-container, I use this for my skin tone. Okay? So, another tip yun, guys. Skin tone. Yes. Yung skin tone ko, ganito yung color. Yan. Maputi siya pag tinignan nyo. Pero, once na nag-dry siya, na-achieve nyo na yung skin tone na gusto ko. So, nilalagay ko yung air dry clay ko kapag nabuksan ko na siya sa isang container na air type. Then, last one, I'm using this. This is a chalk pastel. So, eto, nabili ko din siya sa Vivir. Yan. Medyo moderate na siya. Pero, hindi ko siya masyado nagagamit for your color in type. So, pwede siyang ihalo sa clay and pwede nyo siyang um, ipatong na lang dun sa clay kapag natapos nyo ng gawin for blush on usually yan, yan yung mga ginagamit ko pink, orange tapos red orange and then one trick that I can provide you, dalawa na yan guys, okay, so this one poster color yes uh, actually, I don't recommend you guys to use poster color alone for your air dry clay since a poster color is actually a water based and may tendency siya na um, na malusaw or mag fade yung color. So, what I do is for me to be able to achieve the color I would like to have especially in my case na ubus na yung violet ko. So, nilalagyan ko yung color ko ng violet na acrylic and then a little bit of um, poster color kasi yung poster color medyo malabnaw yung color niya let me open it and then show you diba very watery siya compared sa acrylic paint here ay hindi pa siya bukas na, lang. na very concentrated yung color niya ayun mo diba very concentrated siya paubos na siya, pero meron pa ako isang So, these are the ones that I can um, I can give you the tips for coloring your air dry clay. So, one thing that I can share for you guys, one more thing, is that um, as a newbie or a beginner is that we tend to hoard all of the materials and then the knowledge when it comes for new hobby or new business, especially for air dry clays. So, what I can say is don't hoard, okay? Think, just think of the things that you really would like to have and you really would need. Kasi in the future, if you're going to pursue more, doon na kayo makakakuha or makaka-acquire pa ng ibang mga tools, molds, and then other things that you need for your business. So, as of the moment, those are the tools that I can uh, give you as a um, beginner or as a newbie in air dry clay.